I'm Eddie Miles, um, administrator of the Facebook pages Trouble in Our Day and Never Trump Patriots, and I've been asked to talk about my Dutch grandmother, my Oma. Uh, let's see, Matilda Willis, or Van Bray, originally. Um, she was a girl in the 1930s when the world was kind of flying apart. There was global depression, um, there was a lot of political upheaval, or changes in, in sentiment um, in Germany and Italy. Uh, her mother actually um, liked Hitler. She thought she was he was doing good things for the German people. Um, her father, on the other hand, who was also a politician in the town uh, they lived in, um, thought that he was very much a panderer and an evil man. Um, they were both strong Catholics. Uh, one of the reasons uh, her mother liked Hitler was because he seemed to be um, in favor of pro-Catholic policies. Uh, on the other hand, um, when the Catholic bank that my, gra my great-grandfather uh, used um, was going out of business, it didn't tell anyone, he put in his last deposit and then the next, you know, as he walked out basically they flipped the sign and um, he did not see his money again. Eventually, uh, after a long period of neutrality, um, the Germans came in and uh, invaded Holland, even though they said they wouldn't. My uh, Oma's mother, my great-grandmother, she, um, she walked out into the street as the convoys were coming down and shook her fist and yelled at the German soldiers. One of the, one of the, guy, one of the soldiers uh, in the tank who was on top he looked over at her, pointed his gun at her, and um, my family members, uh, uh, they all just kind of dragged their, their mother away and back into the house. Um, at that point, things got pretty bad. There were su there was huge supply shortages, so for several days after the, the first wave of the invasion, um, whatever was in the stores, that was, that was it. You, the, everyone bought that, and then for days, there were no more... There were no more stocked shelves. But uh, she had a very strong faith. Um, she always liked to say, do your best and God will do the rest. Um, there were a lot of moments during the war where uh, just things looked entirely bleak and, and like they weren't going to work out at all. Um, periods where she thought that maybe her family had been you know, killed in one of the attacks, uh, whether it's Germans on the Dutch or the the Americans on the Germans. Um, a lot of times she was, you know, worried about, you know, where food would come from for the next day. Um, there, there are a lot of miracles, big and small, um, that she had to, to really learn to be grateful for and to um, be hopeful for it and not give up and just wait for that next little miracle or that next big miracle. Um, to the point where, like, one time when she wanted to commit suicide with some, you know, with an overdose of antibacterial tablets, um, her arm, she couldn't bring her arm up to her mouth to, to, to swallow the pills because um, her arms had been sore from, a pre from an injury from a previous bombardment. Um, and it just was unusually, unusually sore that day, and she couldn't just lift it up and... Um, and she just, she heard, she heard in her mind, like, think about what you're doing. Don't think about yourself. You have patience to take care of, and um, so there's definitely that mentality of, of put aside your personal feelings in the moment. Just just give them to God, pray them away, and and do what you need to do because people are counting on you, um, and you need to be there to give hope to other people. That she had to to really learn to be grateful for it and to um, be hopeful for it and not give up and just wait for that next little miracle or that next big miracle.